for the first time in history of existence of humankind, He Jiangwei, a Chinese researcher, claimed that he has made the world's first gene-edited babies. Eight couples volunteered with signs up for the experiment in which the fathers were infected with HIV virus and the mothers were HIV negative. Jiang Wei announced that he has altered the DNA of the embryos. The results? Lulu and Nana, twin girls, completely healthy, are home with their parents. You are made out of millions of cells that contain each one a copy of our genome, over 20,000 genes, 3 billion layers of DNA. We have been controlling, changing life throughout history without knowing how, until we discovered DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, a complex molecule that guides cells' behavior. The CRISPR technology allows scientists to make changes to the DNA, which implies the possibility of curing genetic diseases. When viruses attack a bacteria, they inject their own genetic code inside. If the bacteria survive, the next viral attack will be inefficient because the bacteria retains a fragment of the virus DNA in their own genetic information in a DNA archive called CRISPR. The bacteria immediately makes an RNA copy with the enzyme RNA polymerase of the viral gene that is combined with a protein called Cas9 that checks the bacteria's innards for signals of the virus. It compares the viral DNA to the sequences of the carried RNA. When Cas9 finds the excellent match, it cuts out the virus DNA, making it purposeless. Over the past few years, researchers studying the system realized that it can cut not just a viral DNA, but any DNA sequence at a precisely chosen location by changing the guide RNA to match the DNA of the disease. As we've already mentioned with the case of the bacterium, Cas9 will open the DNA and match it to its target RNA. If the match is full, Cas9 will break the DNA. To repair the damage, the system just shoved the two pieces back, but it can cause some undesirable mutations. This system isn't really helpful in case of editing. However, scientists can place a false piece of DNA that has homology on both sides, but different in the middle, which means that we can put the new information in the DNA without any other damages or mutations. Using this method, we can target specific genes. Scientists have already eliminated HIV virus from living organisms by more than 50%, but more research is needed because genetic engineering can lead, in some cases, into creation of new unwanted defects. 